Hey folks, I'm really excited to show you a really awesome set of families I just got done creating. These are all my exterior residential door families. Um, I did this because if you're like me, you have wasted so much time trying to do front doors for houses and it seems like every house calls for a different front door. So you make a, a door family thinking you'll use it in the future, but then it's a different variation on the next house. And so I have sat down and created a bunch of exterior doors and front door families that are consistent, they jive with each other, and they go with my interior doors that I've made. And now I have this great set of doors um, where I don't have to stop what I'm doing, stop designing the house to make one little front door. So I'm gonna jump in and show you what that's like. I've made as many different kinds of doors as I can think of that you would need for the exterior of a house. But before I get too far into it, let me just make a real quick note. Um, almost all of my families that I do run on type catalogs, just so that when you load in the family, you don't load in uh, family types that you don't end up needing or using. I didn't do that for the front doors, so this top, the top two rows here, these are my front doors. Those I assume you'll load in, there's usually one front door in a project, so you'll load in the front door that you want, and then most of its parameters are, are instance parameters, and so you can kind of change it on the fly while you're designing the front of your house. But the other exterior doors, like the garage doors, and the exterior swinging doors and sliding doors, those I have done like a normal family that you bring in with a type catalog. So I just want to note that if you're bringing in the exterior doors down here on this bottom row, you're going to do it using the insert and load family dialog. And you're going to go to your library. And for instance, if we do this, the exterior swinging door, um, you'll get this and then you can pick what size doors you want to load so that you don't end up loading too many doors. So we'll click that and hit OK, and that'll load that door size for me. OK, that said, um, you don't have to load the other doors that way. You can drag and drop them or bring them in because there's no type catalog with these front door families. So let's take a real quick look on the garage doors. Um, basically, I have done three styles of these exterior doors, uh, as I typically do with my families. There's a modern a traditional and a craftsman style uh, and you can see the panels on the garage change the panels and hardware on the doors change um, you get the more traditional stuff and then you can get more modern looking with frosted glazing in the garage door so uh, if you buy the whole package you'll get all of these uh, but I also sell the different styles separately so take a look at those um, with the garage doors, it's basically everything you would expect. You can turn the interior and exterior trim on and off. Um, you can, in floor plan, if we go to floor plan, you can turn on and off the floor plan symbol, the, the dotted overhead lines if you don't like those. I've had requests before that uh, we not always show all the symbol lines. <clears throat> So if you don't like that, uh, you don't have to have those. Then as far as instance per, or type parameters, I only ever use three categories for the user, and that's uh, materials and finishes, dimensions, and other. And um, the materials are just what you would expect. You can change the door, the glass, and then the interior and exterior trim you can change separately from each other then your typical width, height, thickness of the door, that's all changeable. Then you can change the trim parameters, the depth and the width separately, the interior from the exterior, in case you've got different things going on inside from the outside. And then down in other, you can pick your door panel. If you don't, if you want the door panel to be something different, you can go ahead and change that. Uh, if you get the full package with all three styles, you have a lot more option under the door style and the trim styles. 
let's say right now we have a simple rectangle profile on the inside and the outside. Maybe for the exterior of this one, we want something a little more extravagant. You can change it to colonial. You can see I have an X for exterior and then just a hyphen for the interior. So since we're changing the exterior side to colonial, we'll hit colonial X. And then for the interior, let's say we do something else. Maybe we want flutes and rosettes. So we'll pick flutes and rosettes, but we'll pick the hyphenated one because that's interior. If we click OK, it will make the changes and I can show you what that looks like. So if we go to 3D, you can see the exterior now has kind of a different, has a different trim. And so does the interior has flutes and rosettes, if that's what you're into in your garage. <laughs> uh, but that's pretty typical for all the doors. You can, all the exterior doors and the front doors, the trim is controlled separately. Uh, the, the interior trim is consult, controlled separately from the exterior. And then um, the other thing is if we go to an elevation, sometimes not everyone enjoys the motion symbols being shown in elevation, or maybe you're doing a presentation and you don't want those. You can, you can shut off the elevation symbols in the instance parameters. You can also in 3D shut off the hardware. By default, the hardware doesn't show in elevation, but in 3D it does. So you can shut off the hardware interior separate from the exterior in the instance parameters, if that's what you wanna do. All right, so those are the exterior doors along the bottom. We've got a typical swing, a double swing, and a sliding door, and then You've got your arched garage doors and your standard garage doors, and then a version with glass with the top panel different from the other panels. And you can make that glass, or if you want to load a different panel in, you could do that as well. So then moving on to the front doors, we've got almost anything you can think of. You've got your single doors with a transom, with an arch transom, and you've got your single door with a light, with one light with transom, with an arch transom, then you've got single door with two, two side lights, again with transom and with an arch and so on, with double doors and side lights. So if you just pick one of these, let's pick uh, this double door with a transom and two side lights. You've got a bunch of instance parameters, again, that you can change. Um, let's just, for this, we can go, and for the front doors, I've brought most of the type parameters out as instance parameters because you're not gonna have a bunch of front doors. Um, you'll probably just wanna play with it until the front door looks correct with the style. So I've brought most of those parameters out in, as instance parameters so that you can change them without having to deal with the dialog box. So let's just go ahead and change this to, from a four panel to a six panel door. Okay, so now you can see what that looks like. And then for our side lights, maybe we just want some glass instead of paneled. And then um, let's go ahead and change the hardware style on the exterior side. Right now, we let's maybe, right now we have a handle, but maybe we want a knob, an exterior knob. So let's click that. And that'll change that for us. So it's got the lock and the knob still because it's an outside door. And then uh, let's pick maybe a different kind of exterior trim. Let's do something more traditional. So we'll go with an exterior trim here. And there you go. So you can completely redesign your door uh, right on the fly with most of the instance parameters that are right there accessible. The, and then the other parameters, the dimension parameters and the material parameters, they're, they're under the type parameters here. So you can change the door, the glass, the hardware, and then you've got your side light width, your door height, your transom height, 
um, your arc, your arch height. So if you want to make it a little more dramatic, you can do half a foot instead of three inches. And then again, usually your trim thickness is thicker on the exterior of the door than on the interior. So for this, we've got um, a one and a half inch trim on the outside and then three quarter of an inch on the inside. And you can change that all from here. So if we click OK, I, don't, I think we changed the arc. So there you go. So that is a real quick overview of my exterior door families. Uh, check them out. Um, if you have any questions or concerns or suggestions, I love suggestions. I'm happy to make. Uh, I do updates to the family once in a while. So if there's something that's really irritating you that you can't do or that keeps breaking, please let me know and I'll incorporate it in the next release.